Feels hollow. Did I get scammed on this? Is this just a plastic box? So you may have heard of this website called Wish.com. It's really popular for the incredibly cheap things it has, but with that come some really sketchy items that honestly look very blatantly like a scam. I'm talking $11 Apple watches, $20 Galaxy watches, Today, I'm gonna go and see what I can find in the smartwatch section on wish.com. And whatever I find, I'm gonna buy it and we're gonna see what they actually look like. And like I said, I'm thinking some maybe $10 or $12 Apple watches, maybe some $25 Galaxy watches. Let's see what we can find. All right, so just searching smartwatch on wish.com, right off the bat, you're getting a lot of watches that I definitely don't recognize. There's some random brands. It's pretty believable. It's probably like a pretty cheap item that, that really doesn't do much. But then if you keep scrolling, you'll get to something like, like this. Look. Look at this. Okay, so that right there, Smartwatch Active 2. What does it sound like to you? To me, it sounds and obviously looks a lot like the Galaxy Watch Active 2. And on top of that, like, I'm, if I know anything about smartwatches, this is exactly the same marketing material that Samsung uses. In fact, I'm pretty sure they stole this from Samsung's website, which is, which is really weird. And if, and if you look at it, it says, similar to Galaxy Watch Active 2 Smartwatch. Okay, so newest upgrade similar to Galaxy Watch. So they're trying to hide the word similar. They're trying to make it sound like the newest upgrade Galaxy Watch Active 2. And when you look at it, it literally says Watch Active 2. Like, look at the, look at the picture there. They're taking these directly from Samsung's website. Actually, this one, this one here looks a little different. So these buttons, that's not on the Galaxy Watch Active 2, but the watch face, is kind of the same, it's really similar. So it's very obvious here that they're trying to mislead you and make you think you're buying the Galaxy Watch Active 2 when in fact you're buying uh, something else. But I don't know exactly what else. So I guess this is the first item we're gonna buy. That's, that's, that's easy enough. Um, so ship to store, I don't know what that means because I don't think this is like, you're not gonna, what store is it gonna go to? I'm just gonna do standard shipping. Okay, so let's choose uh, normal quality or high quality. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's go with, um, Let's see what high quality. It looks like it, it's the same price, so obviously go with high quality. Oh, actually the price just jumped up a lot there. $48, whoa. And for anyone who doesn't know, the Galaxy Watch Active 2 is a Samsung smartwatch that came out about two years ago. It has been one of my favorite watches for the past couple years, and it's definitely not selling for $28. It's selling for usually upper $100, maybe low two was by now. Um, its original launch price was about $270, so, so this is definitely, like there's no, I don't know, I, I can't imagine that this would actually show up as a Galaxy Watch or anything close, but we're gonna find out. Let's choose a color. Uh, I'm just gonna go with like the black one, I guess, and we're going to ship to ship to me. All right, now let's see what else we can find. You've got a lot of other ones that really look like Apple Watches and that's totally believable. Uh, I can't, wow, $6. I don't even think you can get like an analog watch for $6. That's, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what they're doing with that one. But a lot of them are trying to look like Apple Watches or uh, like this right here seems to be a really common one. So I'm gonna assume that's like a drop shipping thing where people are buying that for incredibly cheap and just like reselling it um, for slightly more or like way more in this case. Let's actually see if we can find some Apple Watches. Let's look up Apple Watch. So we have a Galaxy Watch. We're gonna see like, I don't know. I'm really excited to see if that, who knows? I might just get scammed and not, not even, it might not even show up. I might just lose. Uh, 20, $27, $12 for shipping. Wow, look at that. That's such a ripoff. Wow, so okay, it's actually $41 uh, when it's all said and done for that Galaxy, or Galaxy watch. Um, so like I said, wish.com does have some kind of legitimate stuff, which by the way, this is definitely not sponsored by them. I know they sponsor a lot of videos. Not, this is not it. I, I think this is gonna be a negative video about Wish overall, just to be clear. Right here, this looks like an actual uh, Apple Watch 6. Uh, it's refurbished and they're still charging $464. Um, seems actually kind of expensive, so I'm sure that one is likely to actually be real. Let's see what else we find. Okay, so $22. This one is clearly not an Apple Watch. At least they're not like pretending to be an Apple Watch. Uh, some of the other ones might be a little confusing. Like uh, a lot of them I was seeing, like this one, $4. It's probably just a watch band. It's not actually the watch. But every now and then you find one. So that's again, watch band. Okay, okay, I found one right here. This one, this, I mean, look at this. Tell me this is not, tell me this is not an Apple Watch. That looks exactly like an Apple Watch. And, and that's, I, I know what they're doing here. So look look at the name. Upgrade, they always start with upgrade for some reason. Upgrade Bluetooth W34, so they kind of sandwich that in there, and that's probably what it's actually called, Smartwatch Series 4. So they want you to think this is an Apple Watch Series 4. It kind of looks like one, just looking at the front, uh, but if you're going through these, like I guarantee, uh, so right there it says Watch 5, even though it said Watch Series 4, and then down here it says uh, Apple Watch Gen 3, Apple Watch Gen 4. So is this, is this the four, the five, or, or the three? 
Like, you can obviously tell that this is something not right. And then, okay, this this is like the dead giveaway. Strand out because fantastic. If that's not an Apple marketing slogan, I don't know what is. This, this has got to be legitimate, right? Okay, rebuild from internal to outlook. Assist you change your lifestyle for a better experience. Man, that's that's poetic. I think we gotta buy this one, guys. I think this is a no-brainer. We're gonna buy this and see if it actually has an ECG monitor for $36. Oh, and here we go, the Apple Watch Series 7. This one definitely, they definitely made this before the Series 7 actually came out. I've seen this before. Sometimes they call it Smartwatch Series 7 instead of Apple Watch Series 7. They're using, essentially, the design people were rumoring uh, the Apple Watch Series 7 was going to look like. Now, the Apple Watch Series 7 was pretty rounded, bigger display, but mostly the similar design that we saw on the Series uh, 5 and 6. But who would think they're getting the new one for $35? I think I need to buy this one as well. Uh, and this one's standard version or upgrade version. Let's see what the upgrade version is. Probably the same to me, just like an extra $10. I'm gonna go with standard version to see what we're actually getting here. I don't know. Look at that. That look. That picture. That picture has to be an Apple Watch picture. Look at the side, it, it's, it looks so similar. There's no way this is gonna show up, and this doesn't even have a button on that picture. This is just so inconsistent with all these pictures. I don't know what we're actually gonna get. All right, I'm just gonna buy it, and we're, and we're, gonna, we're gonna find out what, what shows up here, because once again, they're kind of using more Apple photos. I don't know, okay, so size, smartwatch. That's, heck yeah, that's the size for me. I want the smartwatch size. Uh, cool black. Yeah, that sounds good as well. Um, also, notice the, I didn't even read the full name of this. They're just targeting so many different keywords. Samsung, Xiaomi, Huawei, iPhone, $144. Uh, and with that, I think we're getting three, we're getting two Apple Watches. We're getting two Apple Watches and a Galaxy Watch. All right, I'm gonna place the order, just throwing $144 into the wind. I don't know, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I, I want to do it because I really want to know what these look like. I'm so excited to see like how bad these are actually going to be. Please, please like the video. All right, so we got some mail. I didn't open these two, but believe it or not, I, I didn't open that one. Uh, I did open this one by accident because it was just like in a bubble wrap bag thing. And so I opened it. There wasn't really a box. It was just like this just came in, in, in there. And it obviously looks like an Apple Watch, but I want to start off with the one that the box just absolutely got destroyed. I have no idea. I don't know if that was shipping or if that was like how they actually sent it out. Well, it's not an Apple Watch. It doesn't have any buttons on either side of it, but this is kind of interesting. Let's see what it actually does. So on one end, it has, it looks like it doesn't come with a charger. Instead, you're just gonna plug this into like a USB port um, if, you, if you want to charge it like that. I've seen some other uh, fitness trackers do that in the past. It's got a little screen protector on the front and on the back. Let's peel that plastic off. And on the back, <laughs> They, they tried to make it, they tried really hard to make it look like an Apple Watch. They gave it the little bump right there, the little rings uh, that obviously do nothing here because uh, you don't, there's no sensor back there. I thought this was supposed to have a heart rate sensor and uh, blood pressure and stuff like that. Uh, it looks like it says accurate pedometer, deeply life, waterproof, 1.44 inch smart Bluetooth watch. Okay, sure. That's, uh, I don't see a button on the front. I don't know actually how, to, I don't know how to turn this thing on. I don't know. It kind of looks like an Apple Watch. I just feels hollow. Did I get scammed on this? Is this just a plastic box? I'm gonna, let's plug it into something. I'm gonna plug it in and see if it turns on when I plug it in. Okay, so I got one of the fake Apple Watches to turn on. This thing is absolute trash. Plugging it into the wall uh, is like almost impossible. It interferes with the wall because the USB sticks out at this weird angle. Also, I really don't understand what they were trying to do with this interface. Like it it says it's reading my, my body temperature, my blood oxygen, and my heart rate, but all of them are showing zero. So I don't even know why they bothered putting that there. It doesn't have a heart rate sensor. According to this, I'm dead. And like, what's going on here? It's got sports message, music, and, and then it goes back and, and you can see right here, the, the, watch, the watch face, so to speak, obviously is trying to copy Apple with the health rings, but, but these rings don't actually move. It's just like a wallpaper behind it. Let's, let's see what this Galaxy Watch actually looks like. Okay, so unboxing it, it looks, uh, it says, tips, please make a full charge before use the watch. Okay, so not a good sign there. The watch itself on the back uh, doesn't really look like a Galaxy watch, but I think that's a good thing. It almost looks more like they tried to make a watch and just mismarketed it as a Galaxy watch. It does appear to have four heart rate sensors on there, on the back, four diodes, and two rings. I don't know if those rings are for charging. Uh, it looks like the charger, 
No, the, the two nodes for charging and it magnetically snaps on. So it has its own charger, which looks good. On the front, it, it kind of looks like a nice watch. Like this is pretty slim. I'm not saying to buy this, by the way, this is, don't buy any of these watches, but uh, let's see what we have. So if we press and hold, there is a button, nothing spins. I, I don't know. I actually think that I'm kind of hopeful that this actually has like some type of interface, but I guess it looks like we're gonna have to charge this one up as well. It doesn't seem to ship. In the box, it also comes with a user manual, a uh, smart bracelet user manual. That's, that's a, wow, this is actually pretty lengthy. That means that this actually has an app. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not installing that app on my phone, but uh, it looks like they tried. They actually tried to make like some type of watch here. For, it's definitely light years ahead of the Apple watch that, that, I, that I just opened that I think I really just got scammed on. The Galaxy Watch lookalike here uh, is actually, like I said, surprisingly a little bit more decent. And like, if you're gonna spend $24 on a watch, uh, this one, like it's not number one out there, but it's definitely not the worst. If you swipe back and forth, it's like kind of more responsive than I expected. You've got a heart rate graph. We've got uh, kind of like your daily step count, kilocalories and distance walked. We've got your sleep tracking. So this actually tracks your sleep as well. I have no idea how accurate that's gonna be. We've got, I think this is weather. Um, looks a little buggy there. It's got music controls and then it takes us back to the watch face. And if we swipe uh, down from the top, we actually have quick settings on here as well. And as a side note, this watch obviously doesn't do a lot, but aesthetically, I think this is kind of what, like it reminds me of the rumors that we've been seeing for the Pixel Watch. Who knows if we're actually gonna see that, but if the Pixel Watch does come out and it looks like the renders, I think it might be a little bit like a little bit like this right here. So overall for the Galaxy Watch, I mean, it obviously is not a Galaxy Watch by any means, but uh, I'm kind of happy with how this watch actually looks. I mean, don't buy it by any means, but, but not a total scam for 20 something dollars. All right, now the third and final watch we got. This one I think looks the most realistic out of all of them. It looks the most like an actual Apple Watch. Uh, I was kind of hopeful when I got it because on the left side, it looks like you'd have two speakers. On the right side, we have the little red ring there, which you see on the, the newer Apple Watches. It has the button, it technically does spin. It's kind of a really dirty spin though. It doesn't, like it doesn't, it's not clean. It, it doesn't feel good. And then we've got the bottom button as well as a obviously fake microphone hole. And the button on the bottom is, it's actually not a button. It's just a little piece of plastic. It's, it doesn't do anything. The straps seem to go on just like an Apple Watch. Like they really did copy. This is like a dummy Apple Watch. If, if there was like a new Apple Watch coming out, you know, they do it with like the dummy models for phones. This feels like it would be a dummy model, except when you push the button, it, it turns on actually. If you turn the, if you turn the crown, it looks like nothing happens there. Uh, it is a touch screen. They kind of have the honeycomb interface as well. So they have like a surprising number of apps. It looks like most of these are actually sports though, or, or things you can track. Um, let's see, it actually doesn't, I don't think it has a heart rate on here, so I can't imagine it would do anything. It has Facebook on here and it has YouTube? No way. Okay, if you open YouTube, it says null. Okay, I, I kind of saw that coming. I got my hopes up a little bit there for a second. The button on the side seems to just turn it on and off. And if you tap it, you, that's how you actually navigate around here. Really a pretty bad, display, I don't know, I, like this, like I said, it, it looks like an Apple Watch. If you wore this and you didn't have your display on, I would probably assume in public that you had an Apple Watch, but this was obviously only like a couple dollars, 15, $20, whatever. Uh, again, don't don't buy this, but like, what? I don't know what they were doing here. It doesn't have heart rate sensor, but it does have like sleep tracking. I don't know if this is supposed to go based on like motion when you roll around at night. Wow, okay, so, um, well, I guess out of these three, uh, don't buy any of them. This Apple Watch was an absolute piece of junk. It doesn't do anything. The one that looked like a Galaxy Watch was, was kind of interesting and, and I was surprised uh, at what it, it did do, but I guess the moral of the story is if you wanna buy a fake Apple Watch just to look like an Apple Watch, um, you might as well just buy a broken Apple Watch on eBay that, that maybe doesn't work. But but this also, I mean, I don't know. It does kind of look like an Apple Watch, but I guess the moral of the story is don't really buy cheap things on wish.com expecting them to to look or act like, like real devices that they claim to be. I don't know. I'm not sure why I made this video. I thought it was interesting though. If you guys did, leave a comment below and let me know what I should buy next. Uh, any other like phones or earbuds that, that you see on wish.com or other sites out there that you think I should, that I should buy. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan and I'll see you next time.